Today, we are going to be creating this cute 3D bear model in Blender from scratch, completely beginner friendly in this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get to it. So here we are in Blender version 3.3. So let's go ahead and click on default cube, press X and delete. And for us to begin, I'll press one to get on the front facing view. We will need to add some add-ons if you do not have these already. So go up here to edit, click on preferences, go to add-ons and go over here and type in extra and make sure you click on the add mesh extra objects. I already have mine checked. And then make sure you go here and type in loop and loop tools. If you see mesh loop tools, check that as well. And that will allow us to add in circles and now once you have added that you can do shift a when you go to mesh now you'll see this option that says round cube and it's a rounded cube but what we want to do is change radius to one and for the arc let me set this to six now i can zoom in let's click on the little round cube shift z tab into edit mode now so now we're in edit mode and I can select everything since we are in the wireframe and basically select half X to delete and delete the vertices. So now we have this half right here. So I'm press one again, click on the modifier, the wrench little icon right here, add the modifier and we're going to add the mirror modifier and make sure you have clipping on that way. Whenever you move it in or a way that it will maintain its shape without having an opening. And now we can do shift Z, bring us back into regular facing mode. And we can go ahead and start making a face. So this way, I'll go ahead and just keep this fairly simple. There's ways you can get reference images, but for simplicity's sake, we're not gonna be doing too much in terms of like the actual design, more of basically just giving overview. So I press O, or you can go up here to click on proportional editing and make sure we just have smooth. And then when I press G now, you can see we have this strength of this circle. So basically the smaller it is, when I move it, it affects here, or if I make it bigger, it's like that. So I'll just like right around here and I'm gonna pull down the face just a little bit. And then I'll click like over here, press G, shrink it down somewhat and make a little rounded face over here. Go over here, G, and pull it up kind of towards like the corners over here. And then we can press three and now we have the side facing view. So technically you could press A to select everything, S to scale and Y to shrink it in. And let me just go a little bit here and then I can click in the front and let me go like right here, G and shrink it down a little bit. And for the most parts, I'm gonna keep the head and the face fairly simple because you won't really be able to see much of it anyways from the sides. But for the most part, I'll go back to one now and what I want to do is I want to go and add a modifier, subdivision surface, and we're going to do two. And then I'm just basically tab back out to object mode and right click shade smooth. And this is what we got going on so far. So now before we continue, make sure you save this. So go over here to file, save as, and then save your uh, file name, whatever you like. So I just went ahead and saved it. And now we can go back into edit mode by pressing tab or simply clicking up here. And we're gonna go and hit the face select option this time. And you might notice like the actual wireframe part is not looking exactly on the mesh. So the way to do is click on this little on cage icon, a little triangle one, and that way it's easier to see it like this. So now we can go over here to the side view and I wanna go and select, let's just do these two. And let's see how this looks right now. Two right there and let's press one and extrude it. And I'll have it right about like right here. Feel free to make it bigger. You could even select three of them. And then I'll just add another loop cut by pressing Control R or Command R, depending on your actual computer. And I'll just add a loop cut like right about there. And then you could scale this. Actually, let me escape this. Take off um, portion by pressing O or clicking on the icon up here and then press S to scale it and you can have it like this. And for the most parts, uh, let's see, looks fairly simple. 
and then I'm just gonna click on these two pieces right here G Y bring it back a little bit like that make it a little bit rounder and same with these G Y and bring it in and just have a little more more ear like even this bottom one G Y and have it like that so now we have this basic creation of the ears and if you always want to edit this feel free you can even click on them for example and let's see like click on this part right there G O and let's see me press one to see first O first then G and if you want to move them around like that and then even up here and again feel free to edit that board and keep it just like that for now and we pretty much have the ears here and I want to make the eyes now you can make this as big as you want to so what I'm gonna do is I will actually click on this edge select and option click and I'll push G to move these in a little bit and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make the eyes a little bit larger than normal so I'm moving like that and then now I can select the faces here and I can select let's see the nose will probably be down there so let's just select these six faces here press X faces and then I click on the edge loops and then right click I've also pressed alter option to select them all or it's easier for you click the vertices click option or alt depending on your computer right click now loop tools circle now we have these massive eyes now which is perfect and I can press E to extrude and scale it in like this and then if you wanted to you can press E again scale it a little bit and then G Y to move it back and then you can press E and then scale it outwards well actually we could scale in G Y and then scale it out so kinda like that and it has like the little curve effect so the inside of the actual design looks like this but the outside looks like that so whenever you add in any eyes in it'll be in inside of that now it looks kinda scary but don't worry we'll make it look much more durable looking in a second and then we can do let's save real quick and I'm gonna do shift a mesh let's go up here to where is it at round cube and we'll basically do the same concept shift Z tab and edit mode select the half X vertices modifier mirror modifier clipping and then shift Z and then now we have this mesh right here. So I'm gonna actually add in subdivision surface, add two, tap back object, shade smooth, and then I want to GY first, and I'm gonna scale Y like this, and then I'm gonna do scale Z, and then scale X. And now it's like that. So now I gotta do, let's press one again, scale Y again, forward, and let's see scale Z just like that scale X and for the most part scale Y a little bit more to make it like a little more flat now I'll keep it like this and now I can do G Z go like right about here scale it even more and then go to the side view G Y bring it over uh, let's do scale Y a little bit more and then rotate it on the X and have it like this so I'll press 3 now G Y move it in press 1 now and I can tap into uh, edit mode click on one of the bottom vertices press O G and we'll zoom make the circle not too crazy and then we can move in the nose around I'll hold Z to make it even even up here G make it more nose like again all preference and for the most part I mean I think this would be fine here. If you wanted to pop this out a little bit too, feel free. I can hold Y too like that. But for the most part, very simple. And now I can just rename this like the nose. And then this can be like the head. So let's go ahead and create the body. So let's go and let me just move down here. And right now technically, what we could do is select all of this. And then GZ up, let's see, about like two squares. And technically we could scale this down, so let me just scale it and we'll move it right up inside basically these four squares here. And because I want the body to be about a 
almost two or one and a half, and then the legs will be touching here. So in overall, it'd be like one, two, three, four from this red line here. And obviously we can we can adjust the transforms in a second. So now what I want to do is do shift A, mesh, round cube, and it has our default settings from uh, previous. We'll do GZ again, move it up, shift Z, tab in edit mode, go right here, select vertices, delete them, modifier, mirror, clipping. And now we can do tab back into object, shift Z. And right now we have this going on right here. So what I'm gonna do is add a modifier, subdivision surface, click on here, right click shade smooth, add in these vertices right there, and we'll tab in object mode now. And now we can get started. So let's do O again, G, let's make this a little bit bigger. And let's move. Actually, hold on, should, yeah, should, okay, there we go. So one G, make it bigger, and we'll see, click click on the bottom, and hold on, G, scale it up. Mouse is acting crazy right now, hold on. So G, O, and we have, let's see, if we move it up like this, and what I wanna do is I wanna scale this in a little bit, so I'm gonna go in object mode, S, X, right about here, Press three, S, Y, shrink it down. We'll actually move this head back, so G, Y like this. And then one, click back into edit mode. And now let's move these little shoulder guys right about here. This, I could technically, I could probably move this guy up a little bit. Let's make it a little bit more circular, bear-like and here. And the body, we're not gonna adjust too much. Again, feel free to edit it, but for the most part, I have like a little circle design right there. And now we can go ahead and edit the legs. So I'm gonna go down here. And since we are doing the mirror, I can just select this side. And basically, this will be the middle of the body, right? So we're gonna select the second one from the middle. We're gonna press X, vertices right there. Option or Alt, click, select them all, right click, loop tools, circle. Then we can press one, we can zoom out, we can press E to extrude it, and we can actually click. Now we can press S, Z, zero. And right now we have to hit escape before we click, and I need to take up proportion anyway, I'm pressing O, or click up here, then I can do S, Z, zero now, so that way it doesn't attack everything. And then we can just shoot again, and then pretty much we'll have one like this, and then shoot one more time. I'll go Z right there. And then if you want to, you can shoot a little bit longer. S to scale in a little bit. Press M. And then we're going to merge and we're going to hit collapse. And that gives us a little feet. And if you want to, you can select all these, right click, new tools, and make it into a circle. So like that. Like this. And then loop tools in a circle, if that's just your preference. But for the most part, I'll keep it like this. It's not too big of a deal. And if you wanted to, you know, scale these out again, let me go back to one. You want to scale this, make it bigger. It's up to you, like for aesthetic sake. And then we can go here to the right side and I want the arm to be like right out here. So now I'm going to click on that dot. So this is essentially the middle and then X vertice shift clicked or alt, not bad, not shift option clicked or alt click and then loop tool, right click circle. And then now I press one, we can extrude the arms like this. And then if you want to rotate it a little bit, and then we can scale that in a little bit like that. And then E to shoot again, scale it if you want, and then E again, and scale a little bit. And if you want to make hands, then you could leave this empty like this, and then make your hand custom, or you could just Shoot a little bit more, scale a little bit, in, and then M, collapse. So now I can select these and just do circle here. Right click, circle here, and then right click, we'll put circle here. And now, we tab back in object mode. We have our little bear, and looking a little big. So I'm gonna actually select this, the head, and scale it up a little bit to fit this little body and GZ and I'll move it like that and for the most parts I mean I'm happy with this so far 
Now what we need to do is add in the eyes. And I think the stomach might be a little bit too rounded, but again, if you want to fix that, feel free. Also, one thing too I want to do is option select here, SZ0. And the reason is we're gonna actually be making a shirt. So we can option collect, select all of these SC0 to make them straighter. And it's just easier so when we actually make the shirt SC0 here, click here. And this one technically it's a little round, it's not perfect so we can do SC0, it's not gonna be the perfect. But for the most part we'll have it like this. And basically I just want it to be where the bottom part of the shirt is um, pretty much as at least in this current design enough to where I can get about right here and then technically all we need to do for that is we can do shift Z and basically select all the way up to where we want and that's why I have this loop cut here too for the arms now we can do is shift D and then just hit escape and then I can do P and selection so now if I tab back in object mode, do shift Z, now you can see this like weird design right here. So I'll name this the um, shirt. This will be the body. So when I click on the shirt now, I can press S to scale it and have it like this. And then if I do like G, Z, a little bit going down, now we can see that it's somewhat thicker and then tab into edit mode. And now we can do is select option. We can do E to shrewd, S to scale in a little bit. E to shrewd again, S to scale. So I can do like GZ to move it up. And that way it has like a little curved part. And you can't really see in this design, so not a big deal. And then I can select here. Since it's mirrored, I can do E to shrewd, S to scale in. And then E to shrewd again, S to scale. And then you can't really see it, but this one's pretty much good because you can't really see much. But then we tab again S to scale it a little bit more. I guess if we scale on the Y, we can see a difference. But I'll keep it like this for now. Because you can clearly see that there's a difference in terms of the body and then this actual like makeshift shirt we have right here. And then that's pretty much most of the part. Now all we need to do is add in the eyes. So we'll just do shift A mesh and we'll just do a uv sphere and rotate x 90 gz up and technically we can shade smooth this add in a subdivision surface to scale this down and i'll do g move it up right about here scale it up a little bit smaller have it like right about here and scale it even more then press 3, G, Y, and then move it up like this. And let's zoom in, and let's see how it looks right now. Right now it looks a little crazy, so let's do move to the side, G, and let's do G, X. Move it like right about here. And for the most part, this is how it looks right now. Now, if you're not happy with the way it's shaped, if you have a different design, a way to make this fit the actual eye is we can tap in and click on the face. And first of all, let me click on the eyeball, click mirror real quick, and I wanna mirror this to the head. So now we have two eyes, looks like that. Let's save this really quick. You might have noticed like right here on this edge part, it's not perfectly touching. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna tab into edit mode, and I'm gonna select this snapping tool, the magnet, face project, and I'm just gonna click around the eye and just move these vertices. And actually you can move the one that's farthest back into it. And if you can't see, you can do Shift Z and just click on the last one we have. And then pretty much like this one. Yeah, that one's right there. G and just move these down. And pretty much this like snaps the face to that way. It's basically fully touching it. But for the most part, mo most of it is actually touching. But again, feel free to adjust it. And then if you want to move like these closer to it, it's up to you. But for simplicity's sake, I mean, it's almost clear enough. I like it so far. You can get, and usually if you sculpt and stuff, it'll be much more detailed, but we'll keep it just like that. And then we'll save this really quick. Take off the snapping. And then now what we need to do is we need to select everything by Shift Z, select everything here. And then we need to do Command A, apply transforms. 
So as we apply the transforms, now what I want to do is I want to select everything and apply the mirror modifier. So here, I'm going to apply the mirror modifier there. For this one, mirror modifier is here. I'll click on the nose, apply the mirror modifier here. Click on the shirts, apply the mirror modifier there. And body, apply the mirror modifier there. So I kept the subdivision surface. So now if I click on N, go to item, we can see that all of the transforms are basically reset. And the only difference is the dimensions. So now, what I want to do is I need to mark the seams before we actually wrap unwrap this. And also I need to add materials. So first off, let's just add some materials really quick. So first off, let's just do this. We could add one when we do textures, but let's just do this really quick just to make some time. So just add a basic uh, material. We can go right here and just basically have everything have its own material right now, like this, and then like this. So technically, if you wanted to, we can um, add new, make this like red, and then tab in mode. A, select A, assign it. That we can just see really quick. And this material, I mean, we tend to make this guy like yellowish. And then the eyes, if you wanted to, we can add one new base color. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Edit, assign there. And basically, we'll have like that for now. Oh, yeah, the nose too. We can make this like, um, technically, I could delete that and just add a new one too. So I'll go like that. And we'll keep it just like that for now. So save it here. And if you're happy with this, I mean, you could add the color on the eye, then technically you're good. But for what I want to do is we're going to add texture paint. So we actually draw on this. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on the head first and I'll tab edit mode. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to be adding a seam. And what the seam does is when we actually unwrap this, it's going to follow along the seam that we create. So it cuts it in half. Because if you do the smart project, like we go UV and then smart UV, sometimes for like this, this design, it's not gonna work because it's just more complex. But for like the basic stuff, you can. So pretty much, you wanna find like the halfway point on your um, this mesh. So I'll go like right here, holding the Alt key or the Option key, Shift, clicking here, while holding the Option key, Shift clicking. Let's see, let me click out here real quick. So I have to do Shift click here, Shift click here, Shift click here, Shift Option click. And then, well, not this one, let's see. Keep clicking, just shift click holding, and then we'll do shift click hold here and there. So if I do shift Z, I missed one right there. It should have the entire current head uh, line basically cutting it in half. Now what I wanna do is now I wanna go to UV and I'm gonna click on mark seam. So now if we, we mark the seam, now you can see that we have this like line going across our character just like this so I'm gonna do now is we're gonna select these eyes now and do the exact same part so I'm gonna go option this one should be easy but since I already applied the mirror modifier we're gonna have to do option shift option hold again for both of them so shift Z now we have it selected just like that and then basically go to UV mark seam so shift Z and now we can see in edit mode there's this line if I click out there's that line right there same thing for the nose, just like this. Right click, Shift Z, okay, looks everything's good. UV, and where's it, seam. And then for the body, first off, let's try the shirt real quick. Shift Z, option click here, and then option click. Well, actually, no, pull it up. It should be. Let's do Shift Z again. Option click there. And then Shift Option or Shift Alt click here. Shift Z, that's what it looks like. Go here, UV, Mark, Seam. And then click on the body, Tab, Shift Z. And let's see, let's do here. So Shift Option or Shift Alt click here. Shift Alt click here. Shift Alt click here. Well, it looks like that one unclick these okay and then I have to do shift option click here and super G let's see how this looks so so far I think that is fully connected so now we can go UV mark seam 
And now, let me save this really quick. So now if we did everything properly, we can go in and let's just drag this window over. And a way to do that, if you've never seen that, basically wait for the plus sign and then just click and drag. And then basically I can just switch this to, let's go, actually this option, UV editor, zoom in, click on this, select my guy, tab in edit mode, A to select all of it, UV, and click on unwrap. And now you can see we have this right here. And for the most parts, it basically cut most of our mesh in, pretty much in half of what we selected. So you can see here, like if I select these, the head only, you can see that's our face. And then if I select like the body, you can see like our legs and pretty much like that. Now for the most part for this tutorial, this is very basic um, and it's not like a perfect wrapping and everything, but for simplicity's sake, this is mainly so we can color onto our design. And uh, there's more complex ways obviously to go about this. And if you do have the error where it says something around like an island is missing or something basically with the word island and it's not letting, it's not showing the wrap. What most likely happened is when you were selecting your marking your seams, you didn't either have it perfectly connected or you were missing like one of the, the dots or the vertices. So go back and an easy way to test that out if you did have that error is basically like select the head and the face, UV unwrap that, and if it works, then you're good. And then that means maybe your body or your shirt that you collect, um, were marking the seam didn't work. So that's just something, a little fun fact in case you didn't know. But so far this design is not too hard to um, mark the scenes and unwrap. And now let's go ahead and let me just click out real quick, go back to object mode. And I haven't actually joined these, but um, if you wanted to actually foreign mesh into one complete, object then essentially you could select everything command j it and then wrap it up from there but again if you are trying to make custom designs and tweak up it is going to be kind of annoying after you join it so definitely i mean you can do that but for now let's just go ahead and select the eyes really quick and i'm going to focus on the eyes because that's pretty much all i'm going to really do the texture painting on and if you really wanted to add like colors on the ears but literally just that so i'll just tab into um edit mode and I'll just set A to select. And I go here into texture painting. We can see if I try to click on here, it's gonna say there's no textures, right? So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a base color and I'll change this color to like the bright white. So these are gonna be the eyes. And basically now if I go down here and if you guys don't have it, you can go ahead and drag it up, but it should be like this, just drag this down. And pretty much if we were to click on this, you can see this is what it currently looks like and it looks like super pixelated, right? And there's nothing you can really do here to change the fall off. Like if I were to change, if I have this one or this one, this is usually the stronger one, it's still pixelated. So if you have this issue, the reason is because this is essentially the whole entire map of the UV. And what we need to do is select this, press S and then just scale it and then G and then basically scale it as big as you want. So now if I go back into texture paint mode right here, I click it, now it's like perfect because it's not focusing on everything. So now I can do like F and I'll go like, let's see, probably like right here. And actually let me command uh, Z that. I wanna put the, uh, the X mirror on. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Oh, it's right down here, yeah. So go all the way over, and then click on the X mirror, and then now scroll in, and let me do F, scroll it down a little bit, and let's do like right there. Boom, so now I can switch this color to like whites, F, scroll it down, let me zoom in, and we can click like, let's do maybe this bit a little bigger see how this looks here and then smaller like this here and as we got so far and let's just go ahead and let's just close it off really quick and let's just go back to object mode and pretty much that's really all I wanted to add for the texture paint and if you wanted to if you want to add the mouth you could just go shift a and add a uh, circle and then rotate x 90 but it looks like it's down here. Look at that. Oh yeah, so 
rotate x 90, g z, let's do g y, and pretty much shift z, tab edit mode, delete half, let me just go here, delete the half parts, and then add the skin, let me do shift z, add the skin modifier, command or control a, actually you know what, tab edit mode, a, and then control a, and that should be able to scale it down, then just add in some subdivision services, right click, or tab edit mode, I mean object mode, then shade smooth, and scale it down, actually set the origin first to geometry, GZ, and then scale it down, and pretty much you can have a face here with the color, and have it like this. And I'm not too big a fan of this mod because obviously you can add in sculpting and make it look way more realistic. But uh, pretty much you just move it, you know, move it onto your guy and then adjust it accordingly. But for this tour, I'm going to keep it off for now because I just don't like the way this mod, this is just very basic if you want a filler. But pretty much this is what we got so far. And then basically uh, go here to the preview, shift A, add some lights. So let's go like... Um, area scale it up g g z let's do like uh 200 then let's move three g y rotate it and then uh we can do shift a mesh at a plane scale it up let's zoom out and we can scale it on the y scale on the x tap edit mode click on the uh, edge select click right here Easy, bring it up, click on the edge like here, control B or command B, bevel, and then on your mouse you can use the um, scrolling wheel. So let me go like that, scroll up a few times, right click, shade smooth, and pretty much go here and make it like a, you know, whatever color you like. And then we can add some more lighting if you wanted to. This one's like a thousand. Shift A, let's do another area like GZ, scale it up. Do like you know, 200 again and then let's press zero first let's see the camera view shift left tab uh, or left asterisk zoom in and basically have it like here s to scale on the x this needs to be much a little darker shift a some point actually i'll add a sunlight real quick drag it over here put like three see how that looks and I want more lighting on the backdrop here because um so I'm just shift D scale it up well, actually not too much scale it up do like I don't know, see 500 maybe a thousand boom one zero Let's see how that looks G Y and maybe I can scale it higher on the Z that way it doesn't have that like the little that shape on the back and then pretty much if you want to add another light, like point light at like, I don't know, 200 and move it over here. And again, it all depends on the angle you want. And you can do like shifty another light over here. And pretty much like how bright you want your guy to look in the shadows. But basically, once you play around with the lighting, you can go here to cycles and then it looks a little bit better, more bright. And then basically, if you don't like the glare on the shirt or like the body, change the roughness to increase it the way it's less glare so if i go like full one you can see it's very little but if i go to like zero you can see the difference and again it's just up to you your preference i'll keep it like like that and for the most part i'll keep it like this and then I can just basically render actually first off you got to go over here change the samples do like 120 here i typically think 512 is solid enough for images and then basically let's go here and let's go to the render option go type in the file name make sure it's on png and then for the metadata this just have here but should be under um where's that post processing yeah it should be fine right there with all these settings and now render render image and basically got a little bear so again, feel free to adjust the lines and colors and everything. And again, this is very basic. I'll make a more complex tutorial in the future. But make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.